So now we're going to actually look at functions. And we've looked at those before, but we're going to look at basically some rules about functions. Um, so the definition of a function is a rule that maps each number from a set called the domain, which is your x, that exactly matches one number of a second set called your range, which is y. So when you put an x value in, it matches exactly to one number, which is your y in your domain. So let's have a look here. Sometimes you're given x and sometimes you're asked to find fx, which is your y. So example, if your function is equal to x squared minus x plus 7, find when uh, your function when x is equal to 3. You simply substitute it in. If x is 3, then that's 3 squared minus 3 plus 7, which is 9 minus 3 plus 7, which is 13. That's honestly, that's what that function is. Okay, let's look at number 2. We have a function that equals 1 minus 2x over x plus 4. Give that, given that f of x equals negative 1 half, find x. So we're saying that this is equal to that, right? Now what we're going to do is we're going to say, find what is x. So to do that, I'm going to multiply this 2 here by 2, and that gets rid of that. But whatever I do on this side, I have to do on this side. So I'm going to multiply this by 2. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this here. Let me just erase this part. By x plus 4 on this side, which gets rid of it on this side, but then I'm going to multiply it here by x plus 4. So now we have, let me just rewrite it so we can see it. We have 1 minus 2x times 2 equals negative 1 times x plus 4. See how I've just basically cross multiplied that so that I don't have fractions. So now let's do our distributive property. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times negative 2 is x is negative 4x equals negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. I'm going to gather my x's. So let me put that x over here. So now I have negative 3x. Let me gather my numbers on this side equals negative 6. I'm going to divide this by negative 3 to get x. Divide this by negative 3 and I get 2. That's how you find out what x equals.